Hey guys, in this video I'll try to help people who are having trouble taming a scared hamster. First let me say that this is what I personally did with my hamster. I'm not saying this is the best or only way, so yeah, let's get started. So you're having trouble taming your hamster because it's so scared or very fast or skittish and you've tried so many things. Maybe you want to give up or whatever. It can be very stressful for the owner as well to have a scared hamster. There are many different reasons why the hamster is so scared and it happens mostly with Roborovskis. They are the smallest domestic hamster species and very fast and easily scared. You have to be very patient with Robos. I rescued a Roborovski hamster a year ago. He was living with two others and they started to fight. He was being placed in a tiny cage with no toys and was forced to come out against his will. There was also a dog sniffing into his cage. The time I got him he lived his whole life in a tiny cage and being picked on. He was really stressed and scared. He was already shaking in my transport cage. So I knew I had to be extremely patient with this little guy. First, I let him get used to his new cage for a week. In that week, I was being near his cage as often as possible. I talked and sang a lot when I was near the cage. I wanted him to get to know my voice. And I walked by his cage many times to let him get used to the new home he lived in. Then I started taming. The first thing I did was placing my hand in his cage, not anywhere near him, with a treat on it. This is not his cage. This is a setup I made for this video only, to show what I mean. You can pretend this is his cage. And you can only do this when your hamster is awake. Don't wake him up. I just placed my hand in the cage and waited. He froze and ran away to a corner to hide. I just waited and waited, gently speaking to him. When I saw him relaxing just a little bit, I slowly removed my hand and left the tree where my hand was and I took some distance from the cage. Eventually he would go investigate and found the tree, smelling and knowing it was from me. I did this every day. My hand was in his cage for 10 to 15 minutes every day. It paid off because after a week he slowly came to investigate my hand. He hesitated a lot but came closer and sniffed my hand and ran away. This was good, now he knows he can come near the hand and the hand won't grab him or move. I lifted my hand and left the tree. Every day he came quicker towards my hand and every day he stayed longer around my hand. Then one day, after probably a week, he sniffed my hand and grabbed the treat from my hand and ran away to eat it in a corner. At this point I realized it was not impossible to tame him. You have to put your hand with a treat on it in the cage every day. Hopefully there comes a point where your hamster will grab treats from your hand. Then you can place multiple treats on your hand and also further away. Then you're encouraging your hamster to look for treats on your hand. There might be a day where he will eat the treats right next to your hand or maybe even on your hand. Then you can slowly move your fingers a little bit to see how he reacts. And if he's on your hand you can lift him up very slowly not too high because he might jump off. In this way your hamster learns to trust you. The hamster has to do all the hard work because he needs to let go of the fear. Your hamster needs to know you're not there to hurt him, to grab him, to chase after him or to be near him. He needs to understand that it has a choice. He'll learn your hand is there to give him a treat. And maybe you can even give him treats between your forefinger and thumb. You'll maybe even notice your hamster gets excited for you every night. My hamster is very relaxed around me now. He is still easily scared, but I'm always very gentle with him and we take things slow. He doesn't like to be in large open spaces, 
but that's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. I hope these tips will help you. Keep in mind some hamsters will never be tame and don't try to take them out with your hands. If you need to clean out the cage, let your hamster climb in a cup or something like that to take it out. You can only take a scared hamster out with your hands if the hamster climbs on it by itself. Good luck everyone! If you have questions you can leave them down below. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. I would appreciate it very much. And if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Bye!